You can use any tool that has a square nib such as steel nibs, markers or brushes. Today best option is Pilot Parallel Pen. It's an ink pen that imitates a square nib. This pen allows you to write with a square nib without deepening in inks. And also it very useful for long and sophisticated decorative elements. Its construction consists of a cap, barrel, ink cartridge neck, ink controller, fixation ring, neck, grip, double steel nib in between of which the ink came out. Most art stores now have them. You always can buy it from eBay. It costs around 10 bucks. Pen comes in four different sizes. It's recommended to start with the biggest 6 mm blue cap and stick to it. This size will help you better understand proportions of letters than smaller nibs. You'll learn to make large strokes of different thickness. Later on you can buy 3 and 5 mm green cap for smaller elements and compositions. Frankly it's gonna be much easier to write with it. But if you start from a smaller size, when you change to a bigger one, you're gonna have to learn how to write bigger letters. Most of modern calligraphy sketches made mainly with 6 mm pilot and smaller nibs are rarely used and only for adding thinner letters or smaller decorations. So buy a blue one and if you wish to experiment, buy green later on. Pilot Parallel Pen ink cartridges are quite expensive and ending very fast, but they are best option possible. You'll pay more, but it's worth it. No need to refill empty cartridges with the syringe. No need to search for optimal ink density. You're investing in your comfort. They come in packages of 6 cartridges in 12 different colors of rings. Each color is intense enough and good for writing. You can stick to the blue or black one because they are most contrast and easier to edit on computer later on. But writing with colors such as red or pink can be more interesting after writing with the black or blue for a long time. Also there are other methods of refilling and inks to use. Scroll of barrel and insert cartridge into grip. Cartridge's upper side will broke and ink's gonna fill the ink controller. Make sure you stick cartridge till it broke. If inks slow down, squeeze size of cartridge couple of times. Roll on barrel and you're ready to write. Good option is Chinese inks for calligraphy, but they are a little bit dense, so you can add water to it. 9 inks to 1 water proportion, or less dispersive inks. On 5 Chinese inks, 5 less dispersive. To refill, use a syringe with a needle. Take some inks in a syringe with a needle, open your pen and fill cartridge or backside of a pen. But it can be a little bit dirty in the process. Clean the needle after refilling. Take some water in and out of it so there will be no ink coming out. If you don't clean it, after a couple of hours ink will dry out in the needle and stuck there. It's a cleaning pump. It comes in two different variations. If the inks go out slow and not even, you should take off the barrel and cartridge, put this tube in the back of a pen, take a glass of water or put it under the tap water, squeeze the pump so inks would come out. Repeat the process until it doesn't drip with inks. Put cartridge and barrel back. You can write until the water will come out or wait for it to dry. There are two good options, office paper or art paper. Office paper costs less, but inks can drip a bit on it. But most of the times it's a fine choice. Paper for drawings is great with inks 
and more comfortable to work with it, but costs more. Paper for calligraphy is very smooth and good for writing, and also costs more. You can choose different format, A4 or A3. On A4, with a 6mm pilot, you'll have to write a little bit more compressed, and it can look a little bit clumsy. So A3 paper will be best. We will use a lot of inks and a lot of paper, so things like moleskin is not really an option. Paper for watercolor also isn't good for it, or any paper with uneven texture. So buy A3 office paper for practice, or you can use A4, and use art paper to make special artworks or DIY postcards. Write on a hard surface, use a stack of paper or big tablet, you can cut the fiber board, or use hard book cover, there is no sense of buying calligrapher's desk. We're looking for an option where you can write anywhere, at home, at coffee shop, at office, so most of the times there is no need of making yourself a special working place. If you just bought a pen. Take off barrel and squeeze cartridge in the middle a couple of times, so ink would flow in the pen. If you think that inks are stuck in the nibs, take a nib controller, small plastic plate that comes with the pen, insert it in between of nibs and swipe it back and forth a couple of times. When you take a new tool for writing, your head is trying to work with it as with something familiar. Most of us familiar with the ball pen. With the ball pen you can make thin and thick strokes, depending on the pressure which you apply. Inside of a metal barrel there is a small ball which is circulated there and helps inks to come out. In the pilot, nibs only helps ink to form square shape, so pressure doesn't change the thickness, so it should be even all the time. Push pen on the whole surface of the nib. If you push it too hard, you'll get tired fast, and the nib's gonna be checked with the paper. As the time goes by, you'll learn how to apply even pressure on the center of a nib, and write with the different angles and positions of the pen. Most of the times, nibs should look on a paper with an angle that will create a square, if you'll write a stroke. You'll find yourself pushing a pen too hard, when you really want to control it. Gripping your pen really tight, is meaning that you're gonna control it but for a very short amount of time. That's not what we need. If you're gonna hold pen with ease, you can write for a longer time. The lens will be shaky, but you just need to let it go. It will stabilize with the practice. Your grip of a pen can vary. After a couple of weeks of practice, you'll find a position which is most comfortable to you. But rule of thumb, don't hold it too close to the nib or too far away from it. If previous methods didn't work, take off barrel, cartridge, nib, everything. Use tweezers to take off ink controller. It consists of two parts. Clean everything with water and white spirit, but don't use strong solvent because plastic will melt. Let all details to dry. Combine all parts back together. <laughs> 